Hi and welcome everybody to the Consent Lab. So I have uh, different camera angles. So I just want to show you a little bit how that looks, what I'm doing here. So I just let you into my studio. So my studio, there's another camera angle. Uh, just like I want to show you when we do the hand meditation so that you see what I'm doing. And um, so let you into my studio and into the kind of little workshop environment. It's a little bit <laughs> magic. I like that. So we have about um, two hours. Um, I would like to do a little meditation and then give you um, a few words of introducing yourself and saying a few words. Um, then I would like to um, introduce you into the kind of ground rules, what we're doing here. Yeah. So the invitation in the first place to, that we all come into the same vibration is that we um, synchronize our frequency together. And this is how I do that with the hands meditation. Some of you might have done that before and some of you have no idea. And I will guide you into that. First things first. Um, this is a confidential space. Um, please make sure that you only share and say what you um, want to share. And please don't share anybody else's name or anybody else's what they say or what they do. Please share everything what I say <laughs> or what I do. You can just totally use that. Um, or share your own experiences. But don't share anybody else's name and what they do. And can I see your hand, your physical hand, from everybody. Everything of you is welcome here. So your feelings, your thoughts. Um, and uh, then at any time, if you want to switch your camera off and, you know, if you need to go to the bathroom or if you feel like, uh, you know, want to pick your nose or <laughs> need to do something strange, uh, you know, switch your camera off. That's totally fine. And at any time, if you feel during the lab, okay, this is not for you and you rather would like to leave, just like write quick in the chat, thank you for this um, uh, opportunity and say goodbye and uh, so that I know you're just like leaving off that would be really kind so as I said my name is Matt not somatic consent academy <laughs> this is just like my zoom account and uh, I have developed the somatic consent engagement system I was a student of Betty Martin for six years I uh, went solo and created my own line of work in 2019 and uh, have uh, fine-tuned that. I'm a facilitator, uh, I'm a coach, I'm a, um, uh, I am work therapeutically hands-on with people, I do sexual uh, empowerment work and this consent lab I have developed uh, in 2018 and started online because when COVID hit, there was nobody uh, you couldn't, couldn't meet. And then I just like translated the uh, version of the consent lab into this online version. And this is what I would like to do with you here today. Just each one of you who feels um, would like to share a few words because this is um, uh, kind of an engaging workshop this is something where we communicate and where we communicate and do things and we're just going into breakout rooms and we share a little bit so that it's uh it's pretty interactive yeah and i would like to invite you to be interactive and be part of this lab so that you have the opportunity to explore and discover something that's important and valuable to you that you get the most out of that who are you if you feel like to say a few words, even if it feels uncomfortable, uh, just allow yourself, why are you here? What would you like to get? What's your intention? What would you like to get out? And everything that you would like to say that is important to you. So everybody has spoken? Yeah, I think so. Okay, good. So then um, I would like to uh, invite you into a little icebreaker game. And some of you might have done that with me. And we do that in breakout rooms. So um, I will just opening them up and um, you just um, just push the button and there's somebody else coming. I don't let in anymore because we have set the rules. So that um, 
later on we work with breakout rooms where we can assign them or you can go into a breakout room with somebody you want to go into with but in this case it's randomly chosen so you end up with somebody in a breakout room that i don't know and that you don't know yeah and if you feel like i don't want to be with this person in a breakout room you say thank you and goodbye and you come back so there is no option so that means uh, you choose uh, if you want to stay. So, and this is just about this icebreaker game for a minute. And uh, I would like to do a demo. And who is willing to do that demo with me here on the screen? And it's for about a minute and I close the breakout room from the outside. All right, have fun. May I kiss you? No. And any time in between is always a good opportunity to take something in your hands and feel your hands. It's a great opportunity for self-regulation and connection. Now I open up the breakout room with a different question. And the question this time is, will you kiss me? And the answer is no. All right, I see some smiling faces. I like that. So now I have a few questions for you. For whom was it difficult to, say, uh, to ask a question? The a question that has to do with kissing. For whom was it difficult? Kind of because you were knowing what the question was, right? And um, who of you had difficulties saying no? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, was well, still the same thing. You were knowing that the answer is no. But here comes the the more interesting question: Who was thinking that kissing is kissing on the mouse? Yay. So now we're just diving into consent, what it's all about. First thing, the hardest part is over. Each one of you has been rejected a few times and received a no. Yeah, this is an important piece. But when it comes to consent and the communication around it, it is making specific requests that's very clear. May I kiss you on the hand? Or will you kiss me on my forehead? Or will you kiss me on my cheeks or will you kiss me on my back yeah so when it comes to for example kissing is in all other requests we need to be precisely so and if we don't have a, a yes or a maybe we have a no so no is a full sentence doesn't need any explanation and the deepest embodiment of a no is a full yes to saying no who would like to do the next demonstration exercise with me for the next breakout, breakout room? And we have a very simple conversation. Yeah, This simple conversation is that I say yes when I want and how I want and I say no when I want and how I want. And you say yes and no when and how you want. So, so that we have a conversation and just saying yes and saying no. Okay? Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes? No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. No, no. Yes? So it's very simple, it's very easy. There's, there's one nuance to that. And the nuance is that, as you have seen and heard that, that this conversation is that we responding with our yeses to the other person's yes and with our no to the other person's no. Yeah? And you will notice that your yes and your no is in, inflated by the other person's yes and no. So you will notice that while you say yes and no, the invitation and the challenge is that you can play with that and responding to the other person's yes and no, or and you feel your own impulses and the difference about your own impulses saying individually yes and no independent from the other person. So we're doing that for a minute and a half or so and play with the two dynamics. You play with your own impulses saying yes and saying no, and you're saying yes and no in correlation with the other person's yeses and no. Okay? I open up the rooms. Have fun. Yes? No? No? Yes? Yes, yes. No, no, no. I just love that after a breakout room and this, all the smiling, laughing faces coming back. So feel free to unmute yourself and speak just like, what was your experience? The first exercise, may I kiss you, will you kiss me? And what was your experience with the yes, no, no? So... Anything you would like to share, anything how it was for you, please feel free. You don't need to raise your hand, you just unmute yourself and you just speak. <laughs> All right, so um, as you have noticed, we are in the middle 
uh, of the consent lab already. So we're playing with some dynamics. I just noticed in my body the frequency starts to change, and I'm going more into a into a place of excitement. And uh, you might notice that as well. So if you start to get a little bit bubblish in there, I have always something in my hand and play with it. It's always my self-regulating dynamic. Please do that as well so that you stay in connection <laughs> with yourself. The entire dynamic about the three-minute game is based on the first exercise or the first two exercise that you have done. May I kiss you and will you kiss me? So the two questions... May I is about asking for permission to do something for yourself. yeah. And each one of you has done that alternating. And the second one is, will you kiss me? What is creating an agreement that is not permission. yeah? So this two dynamics creating literally the four different engagements in the consent work. yeah. So um, when you ask the question, may I kiss you or will you kiss me? You literally make a request. And uh, you need to know what you literally really want if you make a request. And this is for most people the most difficult dynamic. And sometimes people ask me, so what's the, what's the key to find what I want and how to express it? So the first thing is um, there's a formula to that. And this formula is about you need to have enough time to create spaciousness. Yeah. Without having time to create spaciousness, you cannot make a choice. Yeah. So this is the first formula. So you need to have spaciousness. Then you need to, then you need to trust, value, and communicate what you want. So you need to have enough time to feel if this is a yes. Or do you need more information when it's a maybe or it's a full-hearted no way? yeah? So that you can literally play with this dynamics when you know what the frame is around that. The most important piece that we have done here is making a request. yeah. And to find what you want, what I have found for myself, what I play with clients and when I'm in workshops and trainings is... The easiest way to make a request is become aware of what you really want. And this is what I would like to do right now here on the open screen with all of you. And you can totally unmute yourself and, um, and, and say it in what you want. And you just say that in I form. And in I form is I want whatever you want. I want to have... A glass of water. I want to have a cuddle. I want to have somebody else telling me that I'm beautiful. I want to lay in somebody else's lap and getting my head stroked. Yeah. So feel free to express what you want independently of getting it. I want a house in nature. I want to have a million on my bank account. So please feel free. What do you want? So um, there are probably, you know, we, we could just do the rest of the consent lab with doing this from a place of making statements. You know, I want is a statement and it's an important statement of ownership. And I tell you a little story. I was walking with my partner once um, on a Sunday morning Uh, somewhere in uh, on a crossroad in America, in a in a big city, going to a workshop, and there was a person coming towards us, totally wasted from a party, just like drunk and just like and looked at my partner and said, just like, "Oh my God, I want your sh your your scarf." It was a nice, colorful scarf, and my partner was just really switched on and said, just like, "Hey, it's good to want." <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so this is this is like an like a mantra that I would like to give you here right now is to say to yourself just from this embodied place of ownership, it is good to want. And just try to say it just to yourself, just once. It's good to want. The <laughs> the only thing, the only thing in this entire body of work that has integrity is asking for it. Yeah. 
So we, how often do we make a statement that we want somebody else to do something and we just say, I want you to do such and such? Yeah. A request is ending with a question mark. A statement has no question mark. Yeah. Just like it's just like I say the sky is blue. Yes, hello, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> so it needs a request. And the request has a question mark. And you either want something to do for yourself or you want somebody else is doing something for you. And these are the two questions that we just played in the very beginning with the may I kiss you, will you kiss me? That's pretty much it. Yeah. So if you don't get anything out of this consent lab here today and you get these two questions because this is what in conversation, in communication, is everything is based on this two request there are not more than these two requests either you ask for action for yourself or you ask somebody else to go in action these are just these two simple questions may i dot 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 question mark or will you dot 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 question mark when you make a request you need to put yourself first so you need to express what you want and what you desire is this is the first thing and the second thing is you need to respect the other person's limit and if the other person hasn't even an answer or saying yes or no that's not of your business <laughs> it's the other person's business yeah so um who would like to do the next demo with me before we go into the next breakout room Very simple. So we had the two questions in the beginning. Um, may I kiss you and will you kiss me? And um, because of time reason, we combine them two now in one exercise. And the answer is not needed in this case. So I make a request. May I play with your hair? And you don't even need to answer to that. You just actually make uh, another request yeah you can ask me will you um, massage my back so and then i come back uh, and say um, will you make me a cup of tea we talk alternating request to each other uh, to each other with a question mark but not to get an answer but just to make a request yeah so I use it to may I and will you request and you use it to may I and will you request and we do that alternating. Everybody has a new person. All right, let's go. We do that for about two minutes. All right, are you, are you ready to change gears? Okay. Yes. Like a little feeling check-in. This is feeling good. This is because I'm not sure and this is just like, oh my God, where is it going? So what we do next for the next uh, about 15, 20 minutes is the kind of the core dynamic in the consent lab. And the way how we do that, so we know each other now together here as a group for about 90 minutes. And we know a little bit of each other. We have just like looked at each other. You have been in breakout rooms with different people. You might be curious about somebody and, you know, the online lab is, of course, limited. You can't do touch here. You can't cannot touch each other. So you, you can, of course, ask for a massage, but you won't get it because, there's, unfortunately, <laughs> it doesn't work. But there's a lot of stuff that we can do verbally. Yeah. So when you just look around here in this place, there are so many people with so many... Um, wisdom and knowledge and experiences and the idea of the following um, exercise is that each and one of you who would like to do something with somebody here in that uh, zoom room and would like to go in a breakout room uh, you need to make a direct request to that person so I would like to give you an example. And can I um, do that with you? If I would have a direct request to you, um, I would ask you, can we go in the breakout room for about 
three minutes or five minutes and you tell me what you do in life and I ask you questions uh, to satisfy my curiosity. And of course, if you're not willing to answer something, uh, then you say no, but I would like to poke poke you and pick your brain and ask you what's going on in your life. Can we do that for about five minutes? We would have an agreement. Then I create the breakout room and then we would disappear for about this agreed amount of time. And I ask questions to get my uh, curiosity satisfied. And um, we do only that, nothing else, what we have agreed upon so that everybody has heard this is what's going to happen, but nobody knows what is going to happen. But This is the frame. And then um, if I'm done before the time is over, I can say, okay, thank you. I'm satisfied. I want to go back. Or if Jens would say, no, okay, I don't want to answer any more of these questions. I'm done here. I would like to go back. Then we go back as well. So both choose if the, when the time is um, uh, uh, too much that if you want to go back, you go back. So if I request this to Jens and we go into the breakout room, then I am the timekeeper. So if you request something to somebody else, you need to have your phone or something next to you that you are responsible for the agreed amount of time as the timekeeper to be in the space and asking um, uh, or, or being responsible for the, for, for the time. And when you're done, you just come back in the room and if you want to make another request to somebody else or somebody else want to make a request to you, um, then uh, we can play that way. Um, if um, I or you ask anybody else for a request that you would like to do, so for example, um, uh, can, I, can I practice that with you? So if I would say, can we go to the breakout room and you do a naked stripty dance for me? Yeah? And then just like, no. <laughs> then, this is, <laughs> then this is a no and it's not going to happen. Yeah. So when you make a request, so make sure that you might have a really vulnerable request and you feel rejected when you're getting a no and you have a little bit of shame and embarrassment coming up. This is very liberating and very healing that you can dare to ask something that you always wanted to ask somebody. And you might even get it, but if you don't get it, it will pop up with some feelings, yeah? So this is part of it. So be aware of that you don't break through a ceiling or an edge that is too challenging for you. So do only the, everything that's comfortable for you. But if you want to lean yourself a little bit out of the window and ask something that you would really like to do, you ask that here if you would like to do that. And then you go into the breakout room. Everybody gets this idea? Yeah, and is the, you you don't make offers. You only make requests, and these are the requests: May I or will you? Yeah, and I will help you and support you if you're not really clear with the don't, uh, with the with the um, uh, dynamics, and uh, if you're not clear how to ask that, um, I will support you. So we have about 15, 20 minutes for that, and. Um, If you need to go to the bathroom first or do something or just shake your body or do something, whoa, whoa, this is too exciting, this is really, whoa, I don't know if I can do that, feel free <laughs> to get your body in the place. And it can be as well three people. So it can go as well three people in a, in a breakout room. So if you would like uh, uh, two people... Uh, together singing you a song that they have sung when they were a child, um, that's fine too. So you can go with three people or four people in a breakout room. If you get a no from um, one or two people, then the request is off the table. You look around this screen that you have. There are these amazing people from all around the world. You have shared some insights with. And there might be some person in here you're really curious about or some person you re would really like to know more from, or you would like to share something with. May I can tell you what I have done this morning when I went into the forest? Something like that, you know? Uh, so so you need to make this request to this person, and this person here in the room will give you an answer, and you will be witness from the rest of the group at the same time. And when it comes to an agreement, you go to the breakout room, I assign you, and then you have your experience there. Nobody knows what's going to happen there.
except you. There's a layer to that that makes it a little bit easier. So that would be, I have a request, can I ask you? So that we start with this in the first place. I have a request, can I make a request to you? And then she said, no, actually, I don't want to do anything with you. And then she can say, no, but you have asked her for a request. Or she said, yeah, please make that request. And then you make the request. Maximum five minutes. You are the timekeeper. And if one of you is done before, you just come back. I open that room. Let me see that this is working. And the deepest insight starting that work was, you know, everything that I have experienced over the last 10 years, I recognized was already there and was already available and accessible. Um, but to put it into a context that was understandable and repeatable, that was the key component that I had access to it and not by coincident, that I had access to it by choice so that I had um, the capacity to choose what I want and put that into a frame that I could not only use for myself, that I could as well use for other people having a deeper insight themselves. But the main experience was that I can receive by being in action and that this is an option. And uh, as we had that before, if you don't want to make a request to anybody else, as I'm not available at this point to go in a breakout room, that's another session that everybody can book because I'm available for work like that. But you can ask me anything about anything right here, right now. Um, uh, that you never dare to ask me. What, whatever that is, if you don't want to go in a breakout room, please feel free. The difference between what we want and what we need. And when it comes to needs, we have this... Um, we all need air. We all need water. We all need um, sleep. We all need shelter. Um, but when it comes to desires, there is a different thing about two pathways that I'm really passionate about. And one is the dopamine pathway. And that is, I need more. How can I get more? I'm not satisfied. Yeah, that's, an, that's the pathway that guides in satisfaction and in um, um, disappointment if we're not getting fulfilled. And the other one is the serotonin pathway that is based on oxytocin and the dynamic of feeling ourselves and being in connection with what is happening in the mo moment. And that pathway feels like I am good with what is, I don't need anything else. And from that place, making decisions and choices is the most liberating one because we can choose anything at any given moment. While when we use the other pathway, the satisfactory pathway, we need exactly that. And if we don't get that, we might feel that we go on a survival mode. So I'm always um, uh, advertising the serotonin pathway, but I love the, this, this kind of satisfactory pathway as well. That depends on if your sex is based on gratification and climaxing and satisfaction, then you create a dopamine pathway that uh, uh, creates frustration. If you do it for the sake of connection that is oxytocin-based and in a relaxed place, or you just do it to feel and to sense without the goal, then you uh, engage the serotonin pathway and that creates a deeper bond. For the sake of the uh, consent lab of the frame, that was uh, kind of a little taster. <laughs> um, and uh, I would like to opening up the mic for each and one of you if you have any questions, if you would like to share your experiences, anything that you notice or anything that you would like to know more of. So we have about, I don't know, five minutes for that one. And then I would like to talk a little bit about the Academy and this birthday gift by uh, joining there for a year for free so that you just know what you say yes to and um, so that you can make a choice if you want to jump in. So Betty Martin was a student of Harry Feddes. And Harry Feddes is the creator of the three-minute game. And Betty took the 
three minute game into her own practice and played with that with clients. And she then recognized that uh, most people don't have the sensory inflow in their nervous system. So what we did with the with the objects, so you go in action for yourself, and that needs the capacity of feeling for yourself. So that means that when you play the three-minute game, you have this four dynamics in place based on the sensory inflow where your somatic nervous system is part of. And when people understand that, this entire thing opens up a complete new doorway in feeling and experiencing, specifically when it comes to trauma, trauma recovery, and deeper layers of the nervous system. The point is that the three-minute game is a dynamic that you can play with to find access of the four different dynamics that you can find or that you can't find in any other way. Yeah, so the more you play the three-minute game, the more you experience. And based on this experience, Betty created the wheel of consent out of that. And that's the, the interesting thing is that you feel and see the shadows like in the wheel of consent. Obviously, when there is no agreement or no consent, then you have access to the shadow parts of that, how people engage. Yeah. However, if you use the dynamics of the wheel of consent out of the context of the three-minute game and you assume when there is no consent or no wheel that there is a shadow, it opens up a doorway in weaponizing consent. And this is what I have seen and what was my decision to move away from that dynamics. Because in the interpersonal space where we all engage with each other, if there are shadows or no shadows, is only based on the perception of the viewer. Yeah? And what is a shadow for one person can be an interpersonal place of love and care for another person. And that depends where you are neurologically, if you are on a survival mode or if you're on a safe mode. So when you're in interpersonal engagement, there can be both. There can be thriving engagement or shadows. And that depends on how you look at them. And that depends on your neurological state. Academy is a place that I have created a way two years ago or three years ago from Facebook because I was so fed up all of this kind of noisy Mark Zuckerberg empire of advertising and and. and I hated it. So I just moved over with my entire community to this mighty network and I created this place where there is no no algorithms. There is no advertising. It's a it's a closed place where all the material, the books, the courses, the whole stuff is there. Um, where um, I invite people, I work in clients, participants, and I have normally a full year of um, kind of a subscription of 397 euros. And that includes a 90-minute call per week. It includes a one-hour one-on-one session. It includes the book Orgasmic Blueprint in the digital form um, and two online courses. And, you know, all the other people who are there to create connection this will be free for an entire year. And if you feel like you just want to continue after a year, you have a subscription for one another year that costs 397 euros. And if you feel like this is not for you after that year or any time in between, you just want to get out of that, you just sign out and you don't pay anything. Yeah. If you stay for that year and you want to continue, enjoy the consent lab. So there's one consent lab once a month. I just want to get that going again because I was a little bit out of the frame. Um, then it's once a month a consent lab. Every Monday evening 7 till uh, 8.30 is the foundation call where we're having a Zoom call like that where we're talking about the dynamics and I explain more and you can ask questions and go deeper. And um, 
That's pretty much it. There are different people. I've educated uh, about 20 people around the world teaching the consent lab online or in person. I do on on one on one um, uh, sessions with people. I do the dearmoring training that comes up in October, where I teach that uh, to people one on one, specifically to professional practitioners. And um, um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask whatever you want to ask. So there's there's one thing, and I cannot bypass that when you click that link and when you sign in for the academy. They want your credit card credentials. So you need to sign in with your credit card. This is just part on Mighty Network. This is the American way of s putting stuff together. I cannot bypass that. Uh, so that means... Um, You will not be charged, but you can use that the entire year without getting any payment charge. But then if you stay for a year longer, you want to be part of the community, you want to be part of this um, connections and calls and stuff like that, then after a year, so if you would say today you just want to be part of that, on the 28th of September in 2025, you would get charged 397 euros for one year. So that would be the cost after a year. And if you feel like... No, that sucks. I don't want to do that. Consent is not for me. I'd rather be in the shadows and just like, <laughs> then you just continue with what you do. That's fine too. I'm, I'm happy both ways. Do, do we just click the try free link then? Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, sometimes, I don't know, some people, they have some cookies in their browser and then they're just coming on the, you know, normally the the pay door for the academy for a year is 2,500 euros. So that's the official cost for that. And uh, this this uh, 397 is so the old price that I that I had. If you land for any reasons on this page and then has one you to pay three uh, 2500 euros just say no and ask me for another link or so so I, I i can make that happen i don't know how this kind of pay doors work with mighty network this is the link when you click there that you can go in for free so you can join a year for free but they want to have your credit card credentials so check out how do you feel now What is your takeaway from that consent lab? Who would like to start? Um, I enjoyed it. I mean, I was engaged. It's rare for me to be able to stay engaged for two hours on a Zoom call, I'll be honest, without getting distracted by something. Okay, my dog's moving about. You know, I looked at them, but, you know, I basically wasn't distracted, which which means it was really good fun and it was interesting. And, mm. Yeah, I think it's definitely something I need to, to um, think about more. Thanks a lot. That way of asking, yeah. Mm. So thank you very much. And thanks to everyone else for. Yeah, I feel grateful and um, really thankful to meet, haven't met everyone. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But really beautiful way to spend the evening. Thank mm. you, Matt, and everyone. Thank you. I just wanted to say thank you. I feel really grateful for that gift, and um, it really came. I just I already felt that I was needing something and needing this and then it's great that I can do this for a whole year I'm so yeah. so happy thank you I feel really nourished and grateful for a playful connection and I want to wish you happy birthday and thank you for creating the space and for offering the gift yeah I just want to say thank you to both for the opportunity tonight and to you uh, uh, Yeah, to be continued on the, the platform and warmly congratulations to, on your birthday too. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. So I'm really happy to have participated. Um, my takeaway is slow down. Okay, take my time, basically. Yes. So I will see how I can uh, articulate this <laughs> in my life. Um, also, I was wondering if there is a replay. Thank you very much for, for inviting us to this course, um, to this free course, and congratulations. Thank you for meeting you all. It was very, very nice. I'm um, um, 
so moved by the experience of speaking my desires and being witnessed in that. Um, I'm aware of learning a lot, but I can't quite put it into words yet because there's so much process going on in the back of my head. <laughs> and no, no, thank you, uh, really. Um, I, I am. I said at the beginning, there's always more to learn in this work, and even after eleven years, there's always more to learn. Um, so. Thank you for the opportunity to continue that for the year. It's something I'm not in the position to do financially. So to be able to do it for free is truly a gift. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Very interesting experience for me. And I have a really hard time uh, feeling at my wants and expressing them. Um, yeah, so right now I'm sort of a bit, uh, I don't know, yeah, feeling sorry for myself, mm. not knowing what I want, and, uh, yeah, so I will sit with that mm. this evening. Thank you for a great workshop. Yes, I want to say thank you too, and um, now I feel, feel more free, I feel more connected, and um, more open. Yeah, thank you mm. from the bottom of my heart for your being and for your work. And the consent labs they are planned once a month, every last Saturday, and as I said, that every Monday at seven thirty p.m. This is where the um, foundation calls are, and they're very dear to me. So if you want to just like dive deeper, so, so the, the foundation calls are the community calls. There's literally the heart of the academy. So coming together and diving into the, the hand meditation and into the consent work. And if you have struggles anywhere in your life, in relationship, in your profession, anything else, you can ask any question. You can bring anything that is bothering you or struggling you or your joy or whatever you find or you just finally have found the sensory inflow as your orgasmic blueprint so <laughs> please <laughs> i've written it all down <laughs> you find it there the, the 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 book is there as an online version and you can buy it on amazon it cost i don't know 27 bucks or so <laughs> I, uh, um, i make one euro if you buy a book <laughs> I f feel grateful that was a consent lab after a year and something and I'm so happy that you were all here that you took that invitation to this birthday gift and uh, to the consent lab and uh, um, is there a last word that anybody want to say? Yes, <coughs> please. Yes, me too. Okay, two, two last words. I met one year of uh, Somatic Consent Academy and I can tell to everybody that uh, helped me a lot in my to see myself, to see how I am in relationship with my partner. And after one year, also she's stepping in the academy and I was say it's a big gift that Matt does to us with all this academy, the time, the care, and also the gift of one year for free. So thank you, because I appreciate all of what you do, and it's helpful uh, for other people like us. Yeah, I just want to say I feel very touched in my heart that it's so, so quick th that you create this space, and we really feel your heart, or I really feel so quick that, um, Everyone just feels, yeah, we are here together and there are no facade, facade. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, and that's really beautiful. So yeah. thank you so much. Yeah. I've, I've done consent lab with a complete group of strangers and after an hour and a half it was just like we are all the best friends as if we know each other forever this is this is fantastic I and love that's it. how it is but it's so nice to yeah. have a living example of that, that yeah. yeah there is no difference really yeah. <laughs> yes I just take this warmth have a beautiful weekend and thank you so much for joining and uh, my mantra is love yourself <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.
Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah, happy birthday.